a new uh, finished moleskin sketchbook. I started this on the 20th of June this year, uh, number 41, kind of. I'm not really sure about the numbers, to be frank. I uh, did this on the way to, to Tokyo. I was there this summer. Uh, the first flight from Helsinki, I think. Self portraits. And uh, this was actually the last thing I did uh, from my Japanese store. I sometimes have spare pages that I finish afterwards the trip. So this was uh, me traveling uh, by train from Tokyo to Yokohama. Uh, usually I just sit and observe and then I, when I reach the hotel I finish these kind of drawings. And this was the, all the food I ate during my first week uh, in, uh, in Japan. So uh, ordering ramen from this kind of machine etc. <clears throat> and uh, I got to visit a lot of different cities in Japan uh, but I didn't really get to see <laughs> that much from each city because I came to the station and then just went with taxi to the to the signing event so this was a, a trip in a kawaii taxi uh, and uh, I was there during the summer so it was very very uh, hot so this is um, some of the ways I kind of try to make it possible to to make a living in that heat <laughs> and I got to visit uh, a Polish illustrator Mateusz uh, so this was uh, live we made this kind of drawing on place it's not something I regularly do so and some Olympic Games things. And this was Nakamis shopping street, uh, also a very hot day. And this also those kind of... Uh, I used to work for the Swedish telephone companies and my father before me, so this kind of... Uh, the wiring is really very interesting to me, seeing it. And I tried to uh, go running in uh, Jojogi Park in Tokyo, so this is some of the memories from that. More food, sushi, even more food. There's a lot of very great food in, in Japan and this is those kind of bento boxes you can buy everywhere. Very nice uh, takeaway food. And this is <coughs> kind of a story about me signing books and being a real big diva. And this is sketching on the uh, Shinkansen fast bullet train. It's a bit shaky. Uh, I try to do this on Swedish trains, but the Swedish train, they kind of shake even more. So it was possible to do it on the Shinkansen. And this was in Sendai, they have the uh, what they call a Tanabata festival, where they have these kind of paper things hanging. So that's what my, my version of that. Even more uh, cables. And this is also some small stories from my Japanese trip. And this is when I came home and had no new ideas, I guess. So back to the robots. And I was invited to a very nice artist retreat uh, with other illustrators in the, pretty close to me here in Sweden. We lived in a small cottage in, uh, in the forest, it was extremely enjoyable experience very nice oh, this is also from the Japanese strip this is getting back to my regular workspace and my home 
I have to find inspiration from closer sources when I get home. Like playing a computer game. Or just visiting Ikea, I guess. And then I had to apply for an American visa. I had a little problem, couldn't get this. Uh, you can apply for a short, a very fast visa, but I couldn't do that because I've been in some uh, countries that you're not supposed to visit. So this is the visa I did before I got the regular visa. And this is me and my wife creating. <coughs> this is also waiting to travel more. I was traveling to California and I traveled before in my sketchbook. And this I did too uh, with the flight from Stockholm to London. <coughs> Somehow I got inspired by Egypt. I'm not sure why. It's uh, very random the things that pop up in my sketchbooks I guess. And this was made during the second leg from London to uh, Los Angeles. And I got to do some uh, live drawing sessions and it was, <laughs> this was more the, like the feeling I got that no one was really interested in me drawing. So I made myself draw in a supermarket because that was a feeling I got from drawing at this event. And that was the, the program for this CTM in Los Angeles. And I got to see some other stuff in Los Angeles. I got to a tar pit museum and uh, I went for a walk in Los Angeles. <laughs> it's not really easy to, to, to walk in Los Angeles. And this is me going back from Los Angeles to London. Uh, might have had too much to drink. Uh, the drinks were free, so instead of sleeping, I kind of draw and drink. And this is after a, uh, a dentist appointment. <clears throat> uh, a model railroad. And there's a lot of talk about uh, AI, uh, artificial intelligence and illustration. And that was my take on it. Can't have a sketchbook without a sailing boat. And it's winter now. This was the last uh, drawing I did with this sketchbook uh, the day before uh, 30th of December. So uh, just kind of trying to fill up the last pages. I want to try, I do draw from both direction so it's always not the last page I finish last. I had a, a small workshop in Copenhagen so that's the memory of the, that. We are very close together culturally Denmark and Sweden but there are differences. A bar scene. And this was also before just going to, to Los Angeles. I wasn't really sure about if I had, if it was possible for me to get the visa in time, but I managed, luckily. This is just uh, the scenes from my regular life, uh, waking up, brushing my teeth, breakfast, etc, etc, going to the gym, Halloween themed things, this as well. Some characters I usually just start with something and then I kind of have to finish a complete page so and in the end I have no ideas and I have to make myself and my wife the last resort. And I bought a watercolor set in Japan and they have kind of silver and gold 
doesn't really scan well, but it's, uh, it looks pretty nice. Disco Dunson. More AI, I guess. That AI is not a robot drawing, I know, but I don't know how to do a representation. Drawing stuff I don't really know that much about. Motorcycles. And this was also, uh, I think this was um, maybe the first really thing I did in Japan is uh, uh, I had a really great view from my hotel window. So it was kind of inspired by that. Uh, so that's last page. Thanks for watching.